Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang operations on complex numbers. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so just like sa real numbers, wherein meron tayong iba't ibang operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Sa complex number, pwede rin tayong magkaroon ng different operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division Then, So, madali lang naman ang operations dito sa complex number. So, tuturo ko sa inyo yung operation sa complex numbers in rectangular form. Yung meron tayong form na A plus BI. Okay, so... Let's start with sum and difference of complex numbers. So, ito na yung formula natin kapag mag-a-add or mag-subtract tayo ng complex numbers. Let's say meron tayo A plus BI plus C plus DI. Yung sum nito ay A plus C plus B plus D quantity times I. So, kukumbine nyo lang yung mga constant or real number nyo. So, add nyo yung A plus C and then combine nyo lang din yung numerical coefficient nung mga i natin, yung b plus d. So, we have b plus d times i. And then, kung subtraction naman, let's say a plus b i minus quantity c plus d i, isusubtract nyo naman yung mga constant. So, we have a minus c, and then plus, subtract nyo rin yung numerical coefficient ng mga i. So, b minus d, then multiplied sa i. So, parang just like algebra, pwede nyo i-considered as variable yung i, wherein nag a lang kayo ng similar term. So, lahat ng may mga i, i-combine nyo, tapos lahat ng constant, i-combine nyo. For example, so we have 2 plus 3i plus 5 plus 7i. So, combine nyo yung mga constant. So, 2 plus 5 is 7. And then, yung mga merong imaginary number, 3i plus 7i is 10i. So, meron tayong 7 plus 10i. Okay? Kapag subtraction naman, we have 8 plus 5i minus quantity 3 plus 2i. So, wag yung kakalimutan yung quantity kapag magma-minus kayo. Ibig sabihin yun, i-distribute nyo rin yung negative. So, parang ano na to? 8 plus 5i minus 3 minus 2i. So, combine nyo na yung similar terms. We have 8 minus 3 na yan is 5. And then, 5i minus 2i is positive 3i. Okay? So ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo sa calculator kung paano mandaling compute yung complex number, yung sum and difference nila. Okay? So para ma-add natin yung example natin doon sa complex number, punta kayo sa mode 2. And then, input nyo yung given, yung 2 plus 3i. So, 2 plus 3. And then yung i, itong under dito sa ENG. Kasi meron siyang i, diba? Press nyo i. So meron na kayong 2 plus 3i. And then, so sige, lagyan natin ng grouping. Then plus, yung i-add natin is 5 plus 7i, right? So, open parenthesis, input nyo yung 5 plus 7i. So, 5 plus 7, and then press nyo ulit itong ang para dun sa i. Then close parenthesis. And then press nyo yung equal sign. So, tama. Ang nasolve niya is 7 plus 10i. Okay? So, Next, yun naman sa 8 plus 5i minus quantity 3 plus 2i. So, input nyo uli yung 8 plus 5i. So, 8 plus 5. And then, press nyo itong ang uli for the i. Then, minus. So, dapat mahalaga may grouping symbol tayo. So, open parenthesis. 3 plus 2i. So, press nyo 3 plus 2. And then, ang for i. Close parenthesis. Then, press equal sign. So, the answer is 5 plus 3i. Which is tama dun sa na-compute natin. Okay? Next, we have the product of complex numbers. So, the formula for the product of complex numbers is this. So, let's say meron kang quantity A plus BI times quantity C plus DI equal daw yung product nila sa quantity AC minus BD plus quantity AD plus BC times I. So, itong formula na to ay na-derive lang kapag tayo ay nag-foil method just like in multiplying two binomials. So, pwede rin natin i-apply yun dito sa product of two complex numbers in the form A plus BI. So, kahit hindi nyo na ito kabisaduhin, wherein kung given kayo ng two complex numbers at minultiply nyo sila, apply nyo lang yung foil method para masimplify yung product nila. 
Okay, so, halimbawa, meron tayong example dito na 5 minus 2i times 3 plus 4i. So, parang ifafoy lang natin. So, multiply muna natin itong 5 times 3, we have 15, right? And then itong 5 times 4i, we have plus 20i. And then, next, itong negative 2i times 3, we have negative 6i. And then, last, itong negative 2i times 4i, we have negative 8i squared. So, foil method nga. Okay? Tapos, simplify natin kung meron pa tayong makokombine na similar terms. So, sa constant na 15, wala na. So, copy na lang. And then, itong i, meron yung 20i tsaka negative 6i. So, 20i minus 6i is positive 14i. And then, itong negative 8i squared. So, di ba meron na akong video about introduction of complex number wherein dinaskas ko kung paano i-evaluate yung power ng i. So, since meron tayong i squared, alam natin anong value niyan doon sa video ko. Kasi di ba yung i is equal to square root of negative 1. So, pag in-square mo to both sides, we have i squared is equal to negative 1. So, therefore, pwede natin i-substitute dito sa i squared yung negative 1. So, we have minus 8 times negative 1. By the way, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about introduction of complex number, ay link ko na lang kasi gagamitin natin yung concept na yon yung power ng i raised to something dito sa video na to. Okay? So, therefore, we have 15 plus 14i and then negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8 na. So, pwede na natin i-combine tong 15 tsaka 8 kasi parang na silang constant. 15 plus 8 is 23. Then, copy na lang natin tong plus 14i. So, therefore, this is our answer. 23 plus 14i. Okay? Okay, so using calculator, multiply natin yung given complex number. So, punta ulit kayo sa mode 2 and then input nyo yung dalawang given. So, Open parentheses, we have 5 minus 2, I write. So, input nyo 5 minus 2. And then, itong ang ulit for I, close parentheses. Then, times 3 plus 4, I. So, open parentheses. So, input nyo yung 3 plus 4, I. 3 plus 4. And then, ang ulit for I. And then, close parentheses. So, press equal sign. Masasolve nyo yung product. Which is, tama dun sa na-compute natin. Okay? Next, we have quotient of a complex number. So, this time, ito naman yung formula for the quotient of a complex number. So, let's say we have a plus bi divided by c plus di. Yung sagot natin dito ay ac plus bd over c squared plus d squared plus bc minus ad over c squared plus d squared i where c plus di must not be equal to 0. Okay, so... Itong formula natin na to, kahit hindi na natin to kabisaduhin. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung paano ba yung step-by-step -step process kapag nag-divide tayo ng complex number. So, kapag nag-divide tayo ng complex number, as usual, meron tayong denominator. Just like this, itong C plus DI. Which is, hindi consider na simplified form yung isang complex number or fraction na mayroong complex number sa denominator. Kasi, hindi pa siya nasa simplified form. So, ang gagawin natin dito ay kailangan nating i-rationalize yung denominator. So, just like in radical, right? Hindi simplified form yung radical expression na may denominator na radicals. Na merong radical expression. So, para ma-rationalize yung denominator ng complex number, gagamit tayo ng concept ng conjugate. So, this time, yung concept ng conjugate ay halos pareho lang naman dun sa conjugate kapag nag-rationalize tayo ng binomial radical expression. So, for example, meron tayong a plus bi. Yung conjugate niya, wherein yung symbol ay lalagyan nyo lang ng line above dun sa whole a plus bi equal yon sa a minus bi. So, so yung sign ng imaginary number nyo na part gagawin yung inverse niya. So, kung plus tong bi natin dito, gagawin nyo lang minus bi. Same as Itong a minus bi or in symbol nga, the conjugate of a minus bi may line above the a minus bi. Ang conjugate niya is a plus bi kasi minus siya initially, di ba? So, para mahanap mo yung conjugate, opposite mo yung sign niya na negative. So, magiging positive bi. And then, kapag nakuha niyo na yung conjugate ng complex number, yung denominator ng complex number, multiply nyo both numerator and denominator by this conjugate. Okay, so, pag ginawa nyo yun, mawawala na yung complex number 
or imaginary number doon sa denominator. And then, simplify nyo na lang yung numerator by applying yung natutunan natin doon sa pagpo-foil ng product of complex number. Okay, so, illustrate natin. Suppose, we have the example, 2 plus 3i over 3 plus i or 2 plus 3i divided by 3 plus i. So, lagi yung first step ay imumultiply natin itong both numerator and denominator ng given expression natin sa conjugate nitong denominator na 3 plus i. Ano ba yung conjugate ng 3 plus i? 3 minus i, right? Kasi kung anumang sign nung i natin which is positive, gagawin mo lang opposite niya sa naging negative i. Okay? So, therefore, kung nag-multiply tayo sa denominator ng, ng 3 minus i, dapat sa numerator din magmumultiply tayo ng 3 minus i para balance. Kasi equivalent lang to sa 1. So, parang nag-multiply ka lang ng 1 dito sa original expression natin. Okay. And then, apply natin yung multiplication of fractions. So, numerator times numerator, we have 2 plus 3i times 3 minus i over denominator times denominator, we have 3 plus i times 3 minus i. Okay, so, doon naman tayo sa numerator. Apply natin yung natutunan natin sa pagpo-foil ng complex number. So, 2 times 3 muna, we have 6. And then, 2 times negative i is negative 2i. And then, 3i times 3 is positive 9i. And then, 3i times negative i is negative 3i squared. Okay? Over. This time, dito sa denominator, laging ang form niya ay difference of 2 squares. So, x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y. Wherein yung x natin ay itong 3, yung first term, tapos yung y natin is itong i, yung second term. So, sundin natin yung pattern na yun. Square natin yung first term, which is 3 squared, and then minus, square natin yung second term na i, which is i squared. Okay, so simplify natin yung numerator. So, si constant, copy na lang, wala nang i-combine sa kanya, so 6 Itong negative 2i plus 9i, pwede pa nating i-combine. We have equal yan saan? 9 minus 2 is 7. So, positive 7i. And then, itong negative 3i squared kanina, na ipakita ko na itong i squared ay equal sa negative 1. So, substitute natin na negative 1. Minus 3 times negative 1. Okay? Over. Simplify naman natin itong denominator. So, 3 squared is 9. Minus, yung i squared nga tulad nito, equal siya saan? Negative 1. Okay, so therefore, we have 6 plus 7i, negative 3 times negative 1, positive 3, over 9 minus negative 1. So, what is 9 minus negative 1? Parang 9 plus 1 or 10. So, mapapansin nyo, wala na nga tayong complex number or imaginary number dito sa denominator. Real number 10 na lang. So, therefore, na-rationalize na natin yung complex number. So, simplify na lang natin yung numerator. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 7i over 10. 10. Now, ang ginagawa dito ay dinidistribute yung denominator natin dun sa bawat term sa numerator. So, we have 9 divided by 10 or simply 9 over 10 na lang. Yan na yung lowest term niya. Plus, 7i divided by 10. Lowest term na rin yun. So, 7 over 10i. So, therefore, this is our answer. 9 over 10 plus 7 over 10i. Okay? So, para masolve natin yung given expression using calculator, punta ulit tayo sa mood... 2. And then, press nyo to yung fraction symbol. So, sa numerator, yung given natin is 2 plus 3. I right? So, input natin yun. 2 plus 3. And then, itong ang ulit for I. Then, sa denominator naman, we have 3 plus I. So, press natin itong down. And then, input natin yung 3 plus I. So, 3 plus and then for I, itong ang ulit. So, press equal sign. We have sa so, tama. 9 over 10 plus 7 over 10i. Okay? So, para mas ma-illustrate natin yung operations on complex number, ay mag-solve tayo ng maraming example. So, we have number 1, combine 3i squared plus 4i to the 5th minus 3i raised to negative 7 minus 6i raised to 10 plus 5i raised to negative 15. Okay? So, simplify muna natin bawat isang expression. So, itong 3i squared equal yan saan? So, 3 times itong i squared kanina equal yan saan? Sa negative 1, right? Okay. Plus, 4, itong i to the 5th, apply natin yung natutunan natin dun sa introduction of complex numbers. So, pwede natin itong i-rewrite as 
i to the yung 5 divide natin sa 4 we have 5 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 4 is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 so we have remainder 1 we have quotient of 1 remainder 1 so parang i to the 4 raised to anong quotient 1 times i kung anong remainder 1 okay so parang i to the 4 na lang yan then minus 3 i raised to negative 7 so 3 parang over i to the 7 kasi negative 7 yung exponent so therefore we have dito pag sinimplify natin itong i to the 7 ilan yan 7 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 4 is 4 7 minus 4 is 3 so we have parang equal yan saan i to the 4th anong quotient 1 then i times anong remainder 3 Next, we have minus 6 times i raised to the 10 power. So, 6 times i raised to the 10. So, 10 divided by 4, we have 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. So, we have i to the 4th, anong exponent? Raised to 2. Kasi siya yung quotient. Then, i raised to anong remainder? 2. Okay? So, ganito yung ginagawa kong step dun sa video ka about introduction of complex number ah. so mahalaga na, na napanood nyo yun para maintindihan nyo yung ginagawa ko okay plus 5 times i raised to negative 15 to. so dahil negative siya nasa denominator siya negative 15 so itong 15 divide natin by 4 we have 15 divided by 4 is 3 3 times 4 is 12 so 15 minus 12 is 3 so we have equal to saan i to the 4 raised to anong quotient 3 times i, anong remainder? 3. Okay, so simplify further natin. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then itong plus 4 times, itong i to the 4th, di ba sa video ko na yun, laging equal yan sa 1. So parang i to the first power or simply 1 na lang. Multiplied by i to the first power or simply i. Okay? Minus 3 over Itong i to the 7, ito na yung kinalabasan nyo, di ba? i to the 4th to the 1st power. i to the 4th to the 1st power is simply, itong i to the 4th, 1. So, 1 to the 1st power is simply 1. Times, itong i cube, meron tayong pattern doon sa video ko na equal yung i, I cube saan? Negative i. So, equal siya sa negative i. Okay? Minus 6, itong i to the 4th equal sa 1, then naka-squared, so 1 pa rin. And then itong i squared, saan yan equal? Parang ito, negative 1. Okay? Plus 5 over. Diba itong i to the 15 equal to sa i to the 4th raised to the 3rd power times i cube. So, itong i to the 4th, 1. And then i cube mo, 1 pa rin. Okay? And then i cube, kanina, alam natin na yung i cube ay negative i. Okay? So, simplify further, we have ito, negative 3, copy. So, meron na tayong 4 times 1 times i is positive 4i. And then itong 3 over 1 times negative i is negative i. So, pag combine na lang natin itong negative divided by negative is positive 3 over i na yan. Okay? And then itong negative 6 times 1 times negative 1 is positive 6 na. Plus, itong 5 over 1 times negative i is, 1 times negative i is negative i. So, gawin ko na lang dito positive divided by negative sa so magiging minus negative 5 over i na yan. Okay? So, simplify further. Meron na tayong makokombine dito yung negative 3 plus 6. Ano yun? Positive 3. Tapos, plus 4i. So, etong 3 over i minus 5 over i, pwede natin i-combine yan kasi para silang may denominator na i. Parang, plus 3 minus 5 over i. Or simply ano yan, 3 plus 4i, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So, parang minus 2 over i na yan. And then, sabi ko nga, bawal tayong may complex number or imaginary number sa denominator. This time, kapag meron kang i sa denominator, imumultiply nyo both numerator and denominator by i para mawala siya. Kasi ba i times i is i squared or negative one na lang. So, therefore, equal to saan? Minus 2i over i times i is i squared. Or simply, negative 2i over negative 1. So, parang ano na yan? Positive 2i. So, therefore, pwede natin itong 
i-rewrite as 3 plus 4i plus 2i na lang. So, combining similar terms, we have 3 plus 4i plus 2i is 6i. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin, which takes the formula na a plus bi. 3 plus 6i. Okay? Next, we have combine 4i times quantity 1 plus 8i minus 3 plus i times 2 minus 5i plus 1 plus i over 1 minus i. So, this time, meron tayong multiplication tsaka division. So, ang gagawin natin, simplify muna natin yung bawat operation, then tsaka natin i-combine yung resulting expression. So, dito muna tayo sa 4i times 1 plus 8i. So, distributive lang to. So, we have 4i times 1 is 4i pa rin. Then, 4i times 8i is positive 32i squared. Okay? Minus. So, meron tayong quantity dito kasi may minus tayo. I-fall natin to. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times negative 5i is negative 15i. i times 2 is positive 2i. i times negative 5i is negative 5i squared. Okay, so wag yung kalimutan yung parenthesis kasi naka-minus tayo. And then dito naman sa 1 plus i over 1 minus i. So parang 1 plus i over 1 minus i times multiply natin both numerator and denominator sa conjugate nitong denominator. Which is, ano conjugate ng denominator na 1 minus i? 1 plus i, right? So, dito rin sa numerator. 1 plus i over 1 plus i multiply sa original na expression. So, simplify natin further. We have 4i plus itong 32i squared. Yung i squared equals sa negative 1. Okay? So, we have negative 1. Minus, eto, simplify muna natin itong loob. 6, copy lang. Negative 15i plus 2i is negative 13i. Minus, etong 5i squared, itong i squared equal ulit sa negative 1. Okay? Plus, so dito na tayo sa division. etong numerator, we have 1 plus i times 1 plus i over 1 minus i times 1 plus i. Okay, so isa-isa natin ha. 4i plus 32 times negative 1 is minus 32. Okay, we have distribute ko na ito ha, yung negative sa bawat term. So, magiging negative 6 plus 13i plus 5 times negative 1. Okay, plus. So, ito 1 plus i times 1 plus i is 4 lang or yung shortcut sa square of a binomial kasi para silang 1 plus i. Square the first, so 1 squared plus multiply the first and the second term is 1 times i is i times 2 is plus 2i and then square the last which is yung i plus i squared. Yung shortcut na lang sa square of a binomial kasi para silang a plus i. Okay? Over sa denominator, yung difference of 2 squares. So square the first, we have 1 squared minus square the second which is i squared. So therefore, we have 4i. Minus 32 minus 6. Ito, pwede natin i-combine. Negative 32 minus 6 is negative 38. Plus 13i. And then itong 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 na. Plus, so simplify natin itong fraction. So, 1 squared is 1. Plus 2i. And then itong i squared is negative 1. Okay? Then itong denominator, 1 squared is 1. Minus i squared is negative 1 ulit. So, we so, have 4i. Ito palang 4i. Pwede natin i-combine sa 13i. 4i plus 13i is 17i. Itong negative 38 minus 5, pwede natin i-combine. Ilan na yan? Negative 43. Okay? Plus, so, ito combine natin yung 1 minus 1 is 0 na. So, parang 2i na lang. 2i over 1 minus negative 1 is parang 1 plus 1 or simply 2. So, therefore, we have 17i minus 43 plus 2i divided by 2 is simply i na lang. Okay? So, therefore, we have 17i plus i is 18i minus 43. Or pagbalik na rin natin para in the form a plus bi, we have negative 43 plus 18i. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? So, check natin sa kalkyo kung pareho ba yung magiging sagot natin. So, we have mode 2 ulit. 
input natin yung given. So, 4i times quantity 1 plus 8i, right? And then, minus quantity 3 plus i times 2 minus 5i, okay? Plus, yung fraction natin na 1 plus i over 1 minus i. Okay, so press equal sign. So, okay, so tama. Negative 43 plus 18i din yung na-compute ng calcium. Okay? Next, we have i to the 4th plus 3i squared times 5i raised to the 10 power minus 4i raised to the 7 over i to the 5th times quantity 6 plus 5i minus quantity 4 plus 7i. Okay, so simula muna natin isimplify itong numerator. So, itong i to the 4th, di ba equal yan saan? Sa positive 1. Okay? Plus 3, itong i squared equal yan saan? Negative 1. Okay? Then, dito tayo sa 5i raised to the 10. So, itong 5i raised to the 10, pwede natin i-write as i to the 4th squared times i squared. Right? Kasi 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is i to the 10. Okay? Minus 4, itong i raised to the 7, pwede yung i to the 4th times i cubed. Okay? Over. Itong i to the 5th, distribute natin dito, magiging i to the 5th times 6 is 6i to the 5th. And then, magiging i to the 5th times 5i is plus 5i to the 6th. And then, itong minus sign, distribute natin dito sa 4 plus 7i, magiging negative 4 minus 7i. Okay, simplify natin. 1 plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So, parang 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay? Times 5. etong i to the 4th is 1. So, 1 squared is still 1. So, parang 5 times 1 is 5. Times i squared is negative 1. Okay? Minus 4. etong i to the 4th is 1. So, parang 4 times 1 is 4 pa rin. Times i cube. Ano yung i cube? Base dun sa video ko about introduction to complex number. Negative i, right? Okay? So, therefore, we have this. And then, sa denominator, we have 6 i to the 5th. Itong i to the 5th, pwedeng isulat as 6 i to the 4th times i, right? Plus, itong 5 i to the 6th, itong i to the 6th, pwedeng i-write as i to the 4th times i squared. Minus 4 minus 7i. So, we have negative 2 times 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And then, negative 4 times negative i is positive 4i. Okay? Okay? over. Itong 6i to the 4th is equal siya saan? Yung, yung i to the 4th is 1. So, parang 6 times 1 is 6 pa rin times i. So, 6i. Plus, itong 5i to the 4th is 1. So, 5 times 1 is 5 times i squared is negative 1, right? So, parang 5 times negative 1. Minus 4 minus 7i. So, distribute natin itong negative 2. Magiging negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Negative 2 times 4i is negative 8i over 6i. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 minus 4 minus 7i. Then, combine na lang natin yung similar terms dito sa denominator. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. And then, itong 6i minus 7i is negative i. Okay, so ito na lang yung natirang expression natin. Division na lang. So, para masimplify ito, hanapin natin yung conjugate ng denominator. Ano yung conjugate ng denominator? Negative, negative 9 plus i. So, pag nag-multiply tayo sa denominator, dapat sa numerator din. Okay? Then, simplify. So, 10 minus 8i times negative 9 plus i over negative 9 minus i times negative 9 plus i. So, foil natin. 10 times negative 9 is negative 90. 10 times i is positive 10i. Negative 8i times negative 9 is positive 72i. Negative 8i times i is negative 8i squared. Over. Ito yung difference of 2 squares lang. So, negative 9 squared minus i squared. Simplify. Negative 90 plus 10i plus 72i is positive 82i. And then, itong i squared gawin nating negative 1 over negative 9 squared is what? 81 minus i squared is negative 1. So, simplify natin. We have 
negative 90 plus 82i. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8 over 81 minus negative 1 or parang 81 plus 1. 82. Then we have negative 90 plus 8 is negative 82 plus 82i over 82. And then distribute natin sa bawat terms ng numerator itong denominator na 82. We have negative 82 divided by 82 is simply negative 1. Plus 82i divided by 82 is simply 1 na lang or i. So i. So therefore this is the final answer. Negative 1 plus i. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video, Operations on Complex Numbers. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.